Hi, this is Aprajita from Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. In this video, we will go through the process of installation of Avaya Aura Experience Portal 6.0 on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6. We will assume that media is already mounted on the system. First of all, go to the directory where our media has been mounted. So when we list here using command ls, it shows all the contents of this directory. Install VP is the script that we are going to use to begin the installation of Experience Portal software on this server. So when we issue command bash, install VP and hit enter, it launches the installation. This is an interactive installation, so we may have to provide lots of inputs during this installation process. The first step is it asks for the installation destination which would be our parent directory for installing experience portal software. By default, it is slash opt slash avaya slash experience portal. To choose this, press 1. In the next step, it asks for what all you would like to install on this server. If you want to install EPM, MPP and documentation, then you have to choose all of them. But in our case, we are installing only EPM, which is experience portal manager and documentation on this server. So enter command 0, 0 is the default option which is continue installing. So if I hit enter it moves further. Now you can press 1 for next or simply hit enter as 1 is the default value. This is the version confirmation step. Hit enter to move on. In this step there is a license agreement which is being shown. So you have to accept the terms of this license agreement to move ahead with the installation. So I choose one. Once this is selected, I press one for next. After this step, there is a prerequisite checker which gets launched in the background. It may take some time for this step to return the output. In this screen, it shows the status of prerequisite checker. Hit enter to see more information from the prerequisite checker. All these checks have to be passed to move ahead with the installation. If any of the checks fails here, then the installation stops at that very point and we have to rectify the issue first and begin the installation from scratch. As all the checks have passed for us, hit enter. Now this launches a prerequisite installer which will install all the required software for Experience Portal Manager on this server. This installation takes quite some time, so just wait for the screen to get updated with the status of the installation. This screen shows the installation status of all third-party softwares which were required by Experience Portal Manager software to be installed as a prerequisite. So if there is a failure for any of these installation, you have to correct that issue and then begin the installation again. You cannot move ahead with the installation until all the prerequisite softwares have been installed successfully on the server. Press 1 or hit enter to go to the next step. In this step it asks for the EPM type that you want to install on your server. So let's go ahead with primary EPM installation only. Hit enter. In this step, we have to create an EPM administrator account. So give a username to this administrator account. Provide a password for it. This password can be changed later as well. Retype the password for verification purpose. Press 1 or hit enter for the next step. Here we have to provide a Postgres database account password. The username will be taken as Postgres only. So we have to provide a password for this. So enter the password here. Then re-enter the password here to confirm. The next step is to create a report database account. If you want to create that, you can click yes. Or if you don't want that, you can go ahead with the installation. Let's try to create one. I've chosen yes. Provide a username for the report account. Let's keep it as default, which is report. Provide password for report reader account. Then provide a confirmation. 
In the next step, it asks for creating database logins for Auxiliary EPM. As we are not installing Auxiliary EPM, we can go ahead with the installation, stating the answer to be no. Here we have to provide a product ID for the Experience Portal server that we are installing. This has to be created using ART for customers. The notification feature on Experience Portal Manager requires this product ID to generate SNMP traps. Let me provide this product ID as 4 followed by 9 zeros as this has to be a 10 digit number. Hit enter to move to the next screen. Experience Portal uses secure connection between its servers. And this connection requires security certificate and you have two options here. It can either be created by Experience Portal or can be purchased from a third party company. Let's go ahead with the one which is created by Experience Portal itself. So I choose one as an option and hit enter. So it creates a new certificate for this server. And the certificate details are available in the output here. Hit enter to move ahead. This screen shows the pre-installation summary of Experience Portal software. So check the details here and confirm to move ahead with the Experience Portal software installation on this server. Now the installation starts for Experience Portal software on this server. It takes quite some time for installing the complete software here. Once it shows the message that it is installing Experience Portal software, it shows a progress bar showing the current state of installation on this server. At times you may feel that the installation is completed or it is halted at a certain point, but it is advisable that you should not interfere with the installation process until you see a post-installation script saying that the installation has been successful or failed for some reason. It may take more than an hour at times to install the complete software on the server, so be patient. Once the progress bar reaches 100%, it shows the post-installation summary on this screen. Hit enter to move ahead. Press 3 to finish the installation or just hit enter because 3 is the default input. Now the installation logs are available under this location which can be referred later. So this completes our demonstration. I hope this information was helpful. Thank you for watching. We welcome questions, comments and feedback at mentor at .com or on twitter at mentor. For more details and related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.